Homelander, the strongest super from the boys, versus the Hulkbuster suit piloted by Tony Stark himself. Who's coming out on top? Let's break it down and find out. Let's start off with Homelander, leader of the seven. One of Homelander's primary abilities is his tremendous superhuman strength. He's stated to be the strongest being in the world. Homelander casually knocked off the door of a pressurized plane, but he stated he was unable to carry the hijacked plane to safety, suggesting that he's unable to use his full strength in flight, requiring a solid surface to take full advantage of his power. While initially appearing evenly matched with Soldier Boy, Homelander eventually overpowered him with his raw strength. Homelander is very resistant against physical harm. He's not only completely bulletproof, but also unfazed by large explosions. Homelander survived having a bus and several large pieces of concrete dropped on top of him without any signs of injury. However, it has been shown that his immense durability does indeed have limits. After a brutal fight against Soldier Boy, Butcher, and Huey, Homelander was shown to have a large bruise on his face. While Homelander was able to take numerous punches and kicks from Maeve, they still caused him some degree of harm, and even gave him a nosebleed. Homelander told Stan Edgar the view of New York City is better from space, which implies that Homelander has flown far beyond the Earth's atmosphere without any need for oxygen to survive. This feat also confirms that he can likely survive the freezing cold of space and cosmic radiation. While Homelander can fly at extremely fast speeds, enough to keep up with an airplane so he can destroy it, John can also move on the ground at supersonic speeds. As a child, Homelander could already break the sound barrier. Homelander is fast enough to dodge bullets and unarm multiple gunmen before they could even react. Homelander possesses stamina that's enhanced to inhuman levels. As a result, his muscles produce practically no fatigue toxins during physical activity. Homelander possesses tremendous auditory awareness, allowing him to detect sounds from miles away. He can also use this power to detect a person's heartbeat and blood pressure. He can tell when they're excited or anxious. Homelander is able to generate red heat energy from within his eyes and can project it outward as high-powered beams. These blasts of energy are so powerful that they appear to be able to cut through anything, such as airplanes, guns, walls, and crowds of people. Homelander can see through any solid object or surface, with the exceptions of objects and surfaces that align with zinc, implying that he only has low-energy photon X-ray vision. So in one corner, we basically have evil Superman. But what about his opponent, the Hulkbuster? The suit was specifically designed to match the incredible superhuman strength of Hulk, and is powered by over 11 arc reactors in order to grant the strength required for such a task. The suit was able to hit Hulk in the face hard enough to knock a tooth out, send Hulk flying two streets away with one punch, and ultimately succeeded in knocking Hulk out. The armor was built to be much stronger than any previous suits, to take more extreme damage. Even when damage occurs, deployable automatic assembled parts are launched from Veronica for real-time customization of the Hulkbuster armor and versatile combat capability. To put into perspective how durable this suit is, you need to understand how hard Hulk punches. The Hulk sends Surtur stumbling back with one blow. You know, Surtur? the entity that destroyed all of Asgard and destroyed Hela. And the Hulkbuster armor can take a lot of these massive blows. Say what you want about Tony Stark, but that man knows how to design a suit. Like all other armors, the Mark 44 has flight capabilities, although given its size, its speed and mobility are reduced. The armor has the ability to shoot repulsor beams strong enough to hold down Hulk, if only for a while. Again though, that's no small feat. The Hulkbuster is able to launch small missiles, which Stark used to increase damage to Hulk after dropping him into the building under construction. There are hydraulic rams in both arms of the armor, making them capable of delivering powerful blows and use the fist as a jackhammer. The suit's forearm is able to expand over its fist like a sleeve, which was used to trap Hulk's arm after he grabbed the suit's fist. And the most important part, that's Tony himself. He has a heads-up display in the suit outfitted with an AI to assist him in battle. Despite what Multiverse of Madness told us, Tony Stark is the smartest man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So who comes out on top in this battle? Let's break it down. Homelander is immensely strong, but he's not stronger than the Hulk. 
To be fair though, neither is the Hulkbuster. Homelander may be stronger, but we haven't seen anything to show that yet. What I can say with certainty is Homelander is much, much faster than Hulkbuster. We see that Homelander doesn't use his speed a lot in fights, but it's there if he needs it. Tony is by far the smarter of the two, shown to make genius plans and tactics within seconds in battle. Homelander, on the other hand, is extremely impulsive, which can lead to mistakes. And Tony Stark is not a man you can afford to make mistakes with while fighting. He can capitalize in a heartbeat, or a reactor pulse, I suppose. I doubt that the missiles could do any damage to Homelander, but the repulsor blast is another story. It probably wouldn't put him down for long, but I believe it could do some damage. Homelander's pretty agile in a fight thanks to his flight. This is something the Hulkbuster wasn't designed for, although Tony's suit can fly, just not at the same speed or agility as Homelander. The big downside Homelander has going against him is that he's not used to close fights. He is used to being the biggest bully on the playground. He just rolls right through everyone he fights since he's the strongest super in the world. The one time he had a close fight, he ended up flying away scared. But does the Hulkbuster have anything capable of taking out Homelander? Absolutely. Those jackhammer fists have enough power in them to send the Hulk flying two blocks and even knock out the beast. In the fight Homelander lost, he wasn't being hit nearly that hard. I think the fight goes like this. Homelander starts off with a cocky smile and a stream of heat vision. Hulkbuster would be damaged, but call in replacement parts as needed. Homelander uses his speed to dodge the initial punches and ignores the missiles coming his way. Then Tony hits him with the repulsor, shocking Homelander with a rare feeling of pain. It would be all over once Hulkbuster locked onto Homelander's arm, trapping him. After that, it's a face full of jackhammer fist until it's nap time. What do you think about my assessment? Let me know down in the comments, along with other versus battles you'd like me to cover. Thanks for watching.